Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1943 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 40 moves to pop a popcorn, collect 14 frosting, and 18 licorice swirls. So the swirls are here, but they're blocked by the frosting. We need to try to remove these so things can flow down. We'll have a better chance of getting to these. We've also got this popcorn here, and it's stationary. Yours might look different to mine. It might be a licorice shell, black with pink swirls. It operates the same. We strike it three times and it goes away. But we have to hit it with a special, presumably a stripe or some sort of combo with a stripe. That's going to be tough to do because I've got limited field here. I'm going against gravity, so I'm going to have to make a ground attack and reach it from below. And we've got these conveyor belts. So this area right under that popcorn is always shifting. Somehow I'm going to have to get stripes down here or in here a color bump stripe combo, but these are the only two rows where we have at least five in a row where we could make a color bump. And again, this is always shifting. One of the things I like to do in these types of cases, this is just one thing, is make as much chaos as possible. I could start by taking out this frosting, but I think that this is going to be the trickiest part. So I want to make some chaos that could create some good stuff here. Another thing I like to do is to take out the colors that aren't very prevalent so I can try to get some more prevalent colors available to me. I could do this stripe just to find out where there that horizontal or that vertical stripe hit that way. Now I can make a horizontal stripe here or I can make a vertical stripe here or a vertical stripe here. I'm going to go for this one, which eventually should come around on the conveyor belt over to here. Now, will it blow up before it gets there? Quite possibly. Everything is so chaotic in here. But I'm a bit hopeful. Oh, I'm going to make a wrapped candy. All right. Here we go. We're coming around. This is almost where I want it to be. One more. If I make this stripe, which I really want to do, then these purple come down and ignite this. If I do anything, this is likely to get ignited, but I have to do something here. I'm going to try to make a tiny little move this way. There! It's in the right spot, and I can set it off. I've got more purple over here. Yes, I'm using this up, but I think it's worthwhile. Now notice I'm not even paying attention to all the other stuff that's happening because it's happening a bit slowly. I think I really need to focus on this, and if I can do that, not only will this give me a color bomb, but as I'm trying to get this done, you'll see that I'm making other things happen on this board. Blue seems to be a color I should remove, because it's not very prevalent. I can make a stripe here. I'm going to make a stripe here instead, although it's sliding off, but now it's coming back around. I'm going to do this little move over here. Can I set this off while it's here? I thought I was going to be able to use a stripe draped combo to set it off. That did not work. I could do this and set this off, but I want to try to use it over here if I can. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't see how I can get that orange while it's here. That is the tricky part. That's not a bad choice. Oh, but see, we lost that stripe. Anything we do can prove to be so volatile that it takes away our opportunities we're trying to set up. That's the tricky part. But notice we're getting all of the rest of this done without focusing on it. I'm not saying that'll always happen, but it's more likely to happen than having this kind of take off. Here we go. Now I can make a stripe trapped combo. It's not so much the combo I'm after. It's just that stripe, and this is a good way to set that stripe off and it's going to take out some of that licorice, and it's going to bring more licorice down here, which is a problem because it's a blocker, but it does help us to clear this out. I'm getting just a bit nervous about these frosting because they're off to the side. That's always going to be more difficult. I can make two stripes if I do this, or one stripe if I do this. I'm going to go for the two stripes and hope that as this comes around, 
There we go. I can set this off immediately, but I'm going to take out green, which is going to drop it into position, and now I have less green on the board. Oh, I kind of want more green on the board because now I'm going to try to do a combo here. Oh, look at this. It's coming around. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and target just that licorice. This is almost in a good position to help. So I want to keep it going. I don't want to knock it off course. So I'm just taking tiny little moves. And now I'm going to remove all green from the board, which is going to hit here, take out both of my frosting and one of my licorice. And then I can try to ease the rest of the licorice down. I think that's a good use of a color bomb. It, Well, <laughs> it ended in me winning because not only did it uh, take out the frosting I was aiming for, but also it created... Um, some cascades because when I take out green everything slides into position and it's more likely to create matches and specials and things. Alright so that's how I beat this level. If this was helpful I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments please put those below and as always thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.